Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Focusing in on the covert narcissist personality traits of being highly sensitive or uh, sensitive to criticism. Very, um, very sensitive, very vulnerable, sort of a, a soft spot or weak spot for the covert narcissist. They really don't uh, like to be confronted. They really do not seek to be in arguments, so they're very non-confrontational. Uh, sort of people, even though they're self-centered. Uh, this is a protective mechanism of them to further um, insulate themselves from really coming to terms and really seeing the uh, side of others and displaying empathy. Empathy is when you really understand the feelings, needs, wishes, and desires of another, and you're able to acknowledge those and act on those and follow through. So, for example, empathy might be the feeling of, you know, um, I really uh, wish that you would um, pick up your dishes before we go to bed because I don't want to have ants or you know just some sort of normal request that you might um, ask of the other person and um, you know so and, and then an empathy would say I understand you know where you're coming from you're right um, you know this is a, a bad behavior that I've gotten into because I'm so tired so I'll pick up those plates so that would be like an empathy. It would be an understanding of where that person's coming from and then following through. A narcissist though, a covert narcissist, generally is very uncomfortable and they have a very sort of sensitive side, very vulnerable if you were to ask them to kind of change their personality or confront how they're, um, how they're acting or change their ways. Um, they can be uh, you know, very, uh, a very little words but they'll try to kind of like give in or concede right away without really discussing it, but then they won't really follow through. So, um, you know, that that's the issue. They'll kind of, you know, th they'll be very sensitive to that and really try to say, yes, you know, yes, um, you know, I, I see what you're, where you're coming from, or I see, you know, that this is hurtful to you, or I see that you need this, but they're not, you know, they'll kind of acknowledge it, but they won't really internalize it and then work it through with you. So they're not able to follow through and really fulfill your needs with having that fulfillment of empathy. So, you know, it's very, um, very much a hallmark trait with a covert narcissist. They're just not able to follow through on certain requests or um, really understand certain emotional needs that you might have. They're just going to kind of glaze over it. They're going to kind of essentially bypass it and react in a very sort of passive manner. And so really that will incite oftentimes a lot of anger and, and uh, rage on the, the, on the side of the person who is really trying to have them understand, you know, we need to change these ways. It's too much, it's too difficult here, or we need to address this now. Um, we, we need to deal with this. You know, can't you see this is what has to be changed up? Um, or I, I want to change this apart in our relationship. So you know, they're, um, they're very, you know, react very, with a very vulnerable side and, you know, it seems very sensitive. So for a sensitive man or woman, I mean, that can, you know, be endearing, um, that they have kind of the sensitive side, but they're really not able to address it or they just kind of ignore it and let it go. So they have, they're constantly having to be reminded or constantly have someone keep them on track, almost like an adult and child. So really, you know, you're, you have to, if you are in a relationship with them and you are, you know, still with them, you need to realize that this is almost like a wounded child within them, the vulnerable, um, insecure side, uh, easily prone to, um, you know, feeling that insecurity. So there is like that little child in them. So you have to almost interact with them like you're the adult and then they're the child. And not that you should berate them or treat them like a child because that's, you know, that's not good treatment either when you talk down to somebody. Um, I would never advocate that, but realize that there's um, a child there. And so, you know, maybe keeping things very simple um, is a good way to deal with it. So not getting complicated, not getting overly emotional, not getting overly argumentative um, or judgmental with them because that just it just perpetuates a lot of conflict consciousness and I'm right and you're wrong and you don't want to get into that embattlement. I mean, just make things very simple, 
very clear cut, very much like step one, very step two, step three, and, and not to berate them or criticize them, but just keep things very simple, almost as if you'd be instructing or working with a child, how they need things really spelled out for them. Um, they need things broken down in very simple pieces, very easy steps. So whether it's getting them to understand that they, you, you want to have a change in your relationship, um, you know, a change in how maybe their schedule is, you know, just write it out for them or speak it out to them, whatever is their preferred method of contact so that is it's most well received by them some people respond very well to a verbal request some people respond very well to a written request um, some people respond very well to it being you know kind of an entertaining format where if you write it on a big board and then make a little heart next to it and you know let them know you know this is important you know have a, an important column um, not so important or can you know so just you kind of give them an, an option of choice so that they don't feel so stuck and they don't feel, you know, like that they're at the bottom of the totem pole because remember the covert narcissist has a self-serving nature. So as long as it can be done to help serve them and really kind of um, ingratiate them and help them retain that sort of superior status, then you're going to get more cooperation from them in the long run. So try out these methods Make sure you are able to promote it in a way that is well received by that person, by the covert narcissist, and helps them attain a little bit of power and control by giving them that element of choice as well. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.